Hey, look who's hey, here. Rick. Hey, Jim. You got any guitars for sale? Yeah, we got a few. This stuff, I guess, I've been doing about the last 20 years using the reclaimed New York City wood. What does it say there? 184 Bowery, 1865, yeah. white yeah. pine. I call it the bones of old New York. Hear it? Feels <laughs> comfortable. He's a good splinter guitar. <laughs> I love this guitar, Rick. It's got great vibe. <laughs> I'll take one. All right. <laughs> you know, I don't know anybody like you. You don't have a cell phone. You don't have the internet at your house. You need to move into the 21st century already. Why? I always really wanted to find somebody that I could pass this on to, because it is sort of a lost art. What do you think about this? I think it looks good. There's a part of music that everybody knows, which is what winds up on the record. Yeah. You know? But then there's the invisible part of music that people don't know. And it's like everything from the people who built this guitar and all other guitars mm -hmm. to the people who create the spaces where people can hang out, it's about having a community. That's the way I feel. Yeah. I'm going to charge a lot more for this guitar now. <laughs> <laughs> this one just went up in price, man. It's got Bill Verzell in there. <laughs>